So let's make Unity update the nav meshes live while it's running. Maybe not every frame, but just as a test, we're going to make it update every frame. The blue things are the nav meshes. At some point, you can probably install this from the package manager by typing in AI navigation. You might need to go to project settings and set in package manager, enable pre-release packages. But for now, you have to do it manually. Best check the installation instructions as seen here. For now, we're going to follow the package from git URL instructions. So we're going to go to the package manager, going to press a plus, add package from git URL. I suppose the URL will be this. All right, when we search for nav mesh, now we can see it and that it is installed. Okay, now we're going to just create two cubes, make sure they're big enough for a nav mesh. Gonna duplicate this one with Ctrl D, move it around here. We're gonna set both to static. And we're gonna just check with window AI navigation. What happens if we go to bake and press bake? Yeah, we get two nav meshes. And when we move this around and press bake, we get a merged nav mesh. So from the official guide on how to bake nav mesh at runtime, I'm just gonna copy this section over here. It's called Navigation Baker. So in Assets, I'm just going to right-click, create a C-sharp script, call it Navigation Baker, no space at the end, and then double-click it to open it. And then I'm just going to copy all of this and paste it, overwriting everything. There it is. I'm going to just save it. Let's clear the nav mesh and see what happens nothing because the script is not in the game yet. So let's put it in the game by putting it on oh, the main camera, for example. Let's try it out. Look and see, nothing happens because, uh, you know, we gotta click on main camera, go to inspector. Well, let's start with the objects to rotate. Let's add one and pick cube one. Let's see what happens. Uh, nothing. So let's remove these, Oop. remove, remove, and again, go to scene. We can see how it was rotated, but because it is static, we can only see how the collider got rotated. So what if we add planes? Yeah, like this. All right, let's go to cube, add component, nav, mesh, surface. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's make sure each and every one has that. Go to main camera, pick in scene cube, add cube one, add plane, also add the other two to rotate cube. Uh, oops, we already have cube one, so cube and uh, plane. Okay, that didn't work. Source mesh combined mesh does not allow read access. Well, let's start by just clearing the bake for everything. Weird. And then disable static. And try to clear it again. Nope, doesn't work. Let's make sure the main camera starts like this. Oh, here we go. So this just works. Instead of start, let's make this update. This is not going to be fun for the system, <laughs> but it seems to be working, but at a price. All right, so if we make it constantly rotate and update and constantly rebake or build nav mesh, it also works. Again, don't do that. Look at my CPU. It's not happy. Perhaps you can see that I actually have two nav meshes at the same time. Let's fix that. So camera still contains the script, which is not great, but hey. So let's just remove one of the surfaces and uh, start and see what happens. If we go to navigation, yep, we get only one nav mesh now. Just to test, let's see what happens if we keep static on, on, let's say, one of the objects. Oh, it even works if it's set to static. That's fantastic. Now let's make another duplicate, move it over there. Maybe this one as well. So what happens if we have two disconnected islands? 
what is going on now. Not sure what these errors mean. Clear? Ah, okay, this clear worked. Let's try again. Nope, didn't work. Okay, what if we disable these two? Still the same problem or what? No. Okay, let's re-enable one of them. Error. Let's re-enable the other one. Works. Let's enable this, remove uh, the nav mesh surface component. Doesn't work. Let's remove static. Works. Huh. Let's re-add the nav mesh surface component. Works. Okay, so uh, I was wrong. The static does cause problems. What? But not always. Very confusing. Anyways, so let's clear of static for now, I guess. I guess this is why it's not in the official packages yet. And let's try to fix the fact... Oh, actually, there's nothing to fix. I don't even get it. Why does it build the nav mesh for everything? Oh, well, great, I guess. If I disable this, it still works. So I really only need one mesh component in the entire scene. Is that correct? Strange, 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 strange. Removing that. Heck, removing the nav mesh surface here as well. I don't know why this is working. Let's go back to the camera and inspector and also make the other two things rotate. Plane 1 and cube 2. And if we go to navigation, I am confused and impressed at the same time. This used to be more complicated. Alright, let's just save a project, restart it, cause hey, you never know. Boink. Still working. So for now it will remain a mystery. Why do we only need one object in the surfaces list? After all, it is only building the mesh for the surfaces array or list. Let's go as far as to create new objects by duplicating and moving far away. And rotating manually. Cool. Haha. <laughs> and at a certain slope it doesn't work. You know, these settings have to be set in, I guess... Over here, yeah, 45 slope. All things I'm not going to go into. Not even sure how to do that, probably here. Agent settings, yeah. Max slope, let's set it to 14.8. We nope, we nope. Pretty cool. That was quicker than I imagined. Enjoy the show and I'll see you next time. Until then, ciao.